of Acts. The second chapter, the 14th verse through 17. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell in Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. For these are not drunken, as ye suppose, seeing but it, it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. We thank God today for the reading of his word. And our little thought today is coming out of, uh, praise God, is coming out of the 17th verse. He said, out of the 17th verse, and he said, And it shall come to pass, in the last days, says God, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Praise God. And another, in the other portion it said that this is that that was spoken by the prophet Joel. Praise God. This morning we are going to talk about this is that. Praise God. What are you talking about, Sister Mary? I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. Because the scripture says in Acts 1 and 8, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be my witnesses in Judea, Jerusalem, praise God, in Samaria, and unto the utmost parts of the earth. So you need the power of the Holy Ghost in your life. Praise God. Now Jesus said when he was on the earth, he said, I'm going away. But I'm going to send you another comforter. And when he come, he shall lead you. And he shall guide you into all truth. He said, as long as I was in the world, Father, he said, I kept them. Praise God, but they're going to need another keeper now. And that keeper is the Holy Ghost. Praise God. And Jesus said, I'm going to send it. And I could see the old disciples, praise God, obeying Jesus. Because he said, I want you to go to Jerusalem. And I want you to tarry there until you be endured with power from on high. And I can see them in obedience. They went there and they began to wait. They waited the first day, nothing happened. They waited the second day, nothing happened. The fifth day, nothing happened. The seventh day rolled around, nothing happened. You see somebody, you want to give up too quick. But I want you to know on the eighth day, nothing happened. But oh, that tenth day morning. I said that tenth day morning. The Bible says suddenly. Suddenly, there was a sound from heaven as of a mighty rushing wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them clover tongues, like as a fire, and it set up on each of them. And they all was filled with the Holy Ghost, and did speak in tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. You need this power. Somebody said, what is this? What is this? This is a strange thing happening. I never heard folks talking like this before. Hallelujah. But it was the Holy Ghost. I said it was the Holy Ghost. John spoke about it. That old patriot. He looked down through time and said in the last days, said God, hallelujah, I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. White flesh, black flesh, brown flesh, yellow flesh, red flesh, all flesh. Your sons and your daughters gonna prophesy. And I can see, hallelujah, when the Holy Ghost come, the people was amazed. Somebody said, what mean is this? What's going on here? And I can see old Peter, my God, that rock. That Jesus spoke about. I said Peter was the rock. Cause Jesus said upon this rock. I'll build my church. And the gates of hell. Shall not prevail against it. And I see old Peter. He stood up. Somebody said look at here. These people is drunk. 
I could see them stack going down Jerusalem Street. Said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I could just see them drunk over the power of God. Somebody said, look here. Said, this must be new wine. I never seen old wine. Make nobody act like this before. The old wine will make you cuss your mama out. The old wine will make you beat your wife on the head. The old wine will make you beat your children to death. But this is a new wine. This is a new wine. And I can see it. Oh, Peter stood up and said, y'all, wait a minute. These are not drunk as ye suppose. Sin is just the third hour in the day. But this is that that was spoken of by the prophet Joel. Said in the last days, uh, said God, uh, not Pastor Mary, not Reverend Brown, uh, not Reverend John, uh, but said God, uh, in the last days, uh, I'll pour out my spirit uh, on all flesh. This is that. This is that. Somebody said, well, Sister Mary, said, how you know you got it? So what is that you got? I said, this is that. And if this ain't that, well, this will do to that come along. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is that. Uh, that was spoken out. Uh, hallelujah. You need this power. I said, you need the power of God in your life. This is the reason why. On last year, you went around with a bowed down head. You was crying and wallowing in tears. So what's the matter with me? You need God. I said, you need God in your life. Send a man. Send a woman. Boys. Girls. You need God in your life. You got to have something to hold on to. You need this. You need this power. The power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody said, let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Just let it fall on me. Let the evidence of his Holy Word fall on me. You need God today. Glory. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. This is that. I said, this is that. All eyes there. Look down through times. He saw this. He said, in stammering tongue, and in another tongue, will I speak to this people with stammering lips? Somebody said, well, y'all talk all that talk you talk. Somebody said, you're jabbering. But I don't care what you call it. This is that. I said, this is that. I just saw it. And thank God I received it. I remember old Isaiah. Back in the days of Isaiah. You see, the Holy Ghost was working then. Everybody didn't have it. It was just a few folks had it. But I could see all Isaiah. He said, in the year. That King Isaiah died. That I saw, I saw it all. He was high and he was lifted up and his train filled a temple. And I could just see it. He said, I saw a sheriff in. That he went to the altar and he took a live coal off the altar and he laid it on my tongue. And that signified the Holy Ghost. How the Holy they receive. If a live coal get on your tongue, you'll never keep it still. And I can just see all eyes there speaking in the other tongue, talking in the unknown language. Hallelujah. That, this, this is that. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I can see it. 
He said, I done got that now. I've done got that. My life's been changed. I don't cuss no more. I got a clean mouth. I got a clean heart. I'm clean through and through. Because I got this. This. This is that. Do you have it this morning? Do you have it? It'll make your life brand new. Oh, you're talking about brand new. You need the Holy Ghost. Praise God. The Holy Ghost will make you lose your heavy load. Hallelujah. I said, I'll make you drop off that heavy load. You need the Holy Ghost. This is that. Don't you want it this morning? This is that that was spoken about. This is that that makes a man a real man. This is that that makes a woman a real woman. This is that that makes a beautiful family. Oh, this is that that gives you peace. It gives you joy. Oh, it gives you contentment. This is that. Praise God. This is what the angel desired to look into and couldn't see into it. We got something today that the angels don't have. We can sing a song that the angels can't sing. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Today, glory to God. Hallelujah. We can sing I've been redeemed. All oh, them angels are some singing fellas. I've heard the angels sing. The Lord have let me look up and see hosts of angels. And I've heard the angels sing. Oh, but they can't sing. I've been redeemed. Hallelujah. Because Jesus redeemed our soul. He came down into this sin cursed world. And he came down in the likeness of sinful flesh. To condemn sin in the flesh. He hung, bled, and died. That we could live. Today we can say, I'm redeemed. I'm redeemed. I can't wait. When I get to heaven. And get around God's throne. And all the saints of God begin to sing, Thank God I've been redeemed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I've been redeemed. Jesus, redeem my soul.